Hey everyone! So in this video I'm going to show an example of an echo effect in Pico 8 music. Uh, actually you'll hear this effect a lot in chiptune music in general. It's a great way to add depth to your melodies, counter melodies, accompaniments, and create the illusion that there are more voices being heard than there actually are. So I have this short phrase here which could be a melody or an accompaniment. And each of these notes take up two rows. So I'm going to treat the first row as the primary voice and the second as the echo. Uh, the easiest way to hear this is by giving them different volume values. So generally the echo will always have the softer volume and the less harsh instrument. So that's a group of four two. So just to give even more contrast, I might try four one. So now I'm just going to play with this and improvise some variations just to give you an idea of what you can do with it. I'm generally just looking for different ways to contrast the first row with the second row. So now I'll try one with a more harsh instrument. So let's see what happens when I put two as the as the primary voice and zero as the echo. I'll contrast a little bit more with changing the volume. Yeah. Uh, now, the other thing that could happen is that if it's if it's more than a group of two, maybe it's a, a group of a group of four. So why don't I take this phrase and extend it over a longer, uh, make it a group of four like this. And we get all instrument one. And you can just do the same thing by creating groups of four, you treat the the first two rows as the primary voice and the second two as the echo. Um, and you can do, or you could just treat it as, rather than two groups of two, you can just treat it as one group of four by um, putting these volume values in. put a group of two in the instrument. And then maybe Yeah, and then you can do the same with uh, maybe it's a group of three. Um, in the melody. So uh, yeah, lots of different things that you can do just with one channel. I think in the next video what I'll do is I'll take this concept and apply it to using two channels um, rather than one. So um, yeah, hope this is helpful. Uh, hope you enjoyed.